Hello and welcome. This is your host E Razor and K back again. And this time, guys, I'm going to do our review of the Open Beta DNF Duel. So we're going to talk about characters, how the online feels, and what's the overall beta and all that stuff. So let's get started, shall we? So DNF Duel was announced, and it it, it was started the exact same day as KOF 15. Hmm. I do find it kind of odd that they'll start the exact same day as KOF 15 Open Beta 2. Personally for me, I didn't enjoy the uh, beta for DNF Duel. I did not enjoy it at all, but here's the reason why. Okay, day one, I did an off stream. So, I tried to get some matches in, but I couldn't because they were under maintenance and all that stuff. So, so here's number one problem. The beta itself is just bare bones. It's, there's no training mode. There's no versus mo mode. But here's a here's the kicker. When when something's under maintenance, we get to face CPU fights. But here's the problem: we can't do we can't select the characters that we want to play against the CPU. It's all random. And uh, facing the CPU is just oh my gosh. We don't know what difficulty the CPU would be in. Sometimes they'll be like super hard and all that stuff. And then sometimes they'll be super easy. It's just depending on what the CPU's feeling, I guess. But so that's that that raised a red flag right there because for this to be bare bones and we don't we don't have a chance to versus CPU unless it's under maintenance. So that's that's a major problem because with the open beta it should be uh your first impression of the game. And starting off, nothing but you just gotta go online and play matches. And but here's the funny part: before people say, "Oh, it's just a beta," but that's the thing, though. You can select your characters while you're facing other players, but you can't select your characters while it's under maintenance. It's all random characters. Nah, I'm sorry though. That's kind of backwards. If you ask me, if we can't versus a CPU, but if your guys are under maintenance, you give us the you give us the choice. We we automatically face CPUs with random characters and random characters we versus. And to me, that should be a, that should be a versus mode in the open beta. So that's one that's one the that's one gripe right there. Two, there is no practice mode. There's no training mode. Okay, I came from the KOF 15 open beta. The very first open beta had training mode, had versus mode, and then network, and then room matches. It's like, for this to be a beta at the Abdul, I just, I was dump, dumbfounded at how bare bone is it. I feel like, I feel like DNF Abdul was just trying to steal KOF 15 Thunder, because this game is hype, yes, but but it's so, uh, I don't know, it's just that I did have fun playing the matches, but I feel like it was hype with no substance, if you ask me. The game's fun, but some some players do not want to go to like, and to like online matches and just, you know, go there and play. Because some, there, there are going to be like players that actually play this. And they look at the PDF and all that stuff. And that's my another gripe. That is my another gripe. The game was so quick to launch its open beta that you gotta go to YouTube and look at, oh, how you do this, how you do that. Oh, they got the PDF on online. So everything I had to look is online. And we just don't know what these characters can do. So we had to make a guess and play with with random people but you just don't know some people's like oh i don't know how to play this and all that stuff. it'd be different if we could play with a friend and you know learn how to play the game but we didn't we don't have that option now beta or not you should have that option to play with your friends and then the and then it was just a mess like first day was a mess all all around they and then and then, and then, thank goodness for YouTubers, okay? 
they upload stuff and about, about how to not not how to play the character, but their command list of what they do, what the command list for this character, command list for that. Thank goodness for them because because some people may not know about the PDF and they and, and download. They should have just it should be common courtesy of them putting a something like a I would say a Grand Blue Fantasy Versus where you can actually look at something because heck even Grand Blue Fantasy uh, Beta it had command list but you can like go go online look at go online in the player matches and there's a table where it says oh explain you how they work got you the mechanics that that, that you're looking at Explain how some of the characters of uh, special moves in the game. And then there was a visual, you know, stuff with, with, with um, Grand Blue Fancy versus Beta. But this game, it, it didn't give us nothing. It just, oh, pick up a character and play. And go, and the only thing I can say is good luck finding matches in these uh, lobbies. Like, don't get me wrong, the game is fun. Like, I had no problem with the online. A few skips here and there, but the game is fun. But the but the but trying to get into a match is probably the worst thing ever. That's deal with number three. Getting into matches stinks, okay? It's like it's like a guilty gear and Grand Blue Fantasy versus Arcade Room. But Knowing that, a hey, nerf it. <laughs> Imagine having so many arcade machines right there, and if you, no matter if you click the arcade machine, oh, you can, oh, someone can actually random play you. But here it's like, oh, I don't care if it's player room matches and all that stuff. There still should be plenty of arcades for players to get in. And then, and then that's my another gripe. It's just, I'm griping about this game how. How, like, like getting into a match is hard. It should not be that hard. I mean, I mean, unless I'm in a room match, it's like, that's the problem. This game is just go to a room match with random people. Not your friends, not the people you know online. Just random people. And you don't know if you're going to be trolled or not. Oh my lord, it's just, it was so frustrating to get a match in. And this, and then, because it was so frustrating for me to get a match one time, I wasn't even going to think about playing the game. this game. That's how bad, at a bad of a time I had with the open beta. And then there's some problems in, like, other countries. They can't do it, and then all that stuff. And, and I hope this is not the only beta we're gonna have with this game because because right now this first impression of, of it it really really kills me okay the game's hype but when I play that beta it it just destroyed any type of expectations I have with this game but gameplay wise it's decent at best like it's a footsie based game and I don't I personally don't like footsie based game because you move like turtles but 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 I do like Grand Blue Fantasy Versus because Grand Blue Fantasy Versus, like, you do got simple, you know, special moves. But if you use a simple special move, for example, on Grand Blue Fantasy, um, you can't use it again. You gotta just gotta wait. You gotta wait longer if you do a simple special move. But if you do, like, a manual special move, it recharges a little bit faster than, than doing something simple. Other things I like about uh, Grand Blue Fantasy Versus than DF Duel is defense option. Like, like gameplay wise, I do like it, and you do can do some crazy mix up here and there. But the problem is, like, the jumping feels a little floaty. Like, like a little floaty at times. And then I was like, okay, it's just one thing. Then the movement speed, like, I want to have at least. At least movement speed a little bit faster because these characters ranges like Crusader and and 
imperialist or something and like uh, the hitman and all these characters some of these characters got very very good range compared to i play the dragon knight like they got so good range that i had to play close and then i played a little bit of striker and you know she's a close range fighter and if you face characters like hitman someone else a hunter or whatever that these characters has long range and 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 there's no like defense option where i can just evade the attack i just gotta take the hit and there should be like defense options for this and all that my other gripe is like um like like there's something things like okay the mp thing with the health like you lose all your health increase your mp stuff that's cool i like that i kind of wish though that we can sacrifice our magic points to regenerate all that all our red health back or or regenerate our health overall regardless of what color the health is because during this game you have the silver looking health where if you don't get hit in the, again you will, re, you will um, regenerate health there and then you got the red health basically you won't regenerate that but i wish there was an option for sacrifice all your magic points to get get like like return some hp back while you know while going to the like rely on the gray and not getting hit and uh, with, with that you know your mp will take longer to charge no matter what and then i was like don't get me wrong the game's fun guys it really is it, but the, but the beta just it just kind of didn't meet my expectations at most and you could say it's only a beta but the real game will do uh, but that's my that's the thing though i if you're doing a beta it's your first impression and your first impression is always you know the most important thing if you want to entice people to play this game the, and the positive is the characters and the net net code that's the only thing I can say. Like, like I do love the character's design because you got that Grand Blue Fancy Versus. I love Grand Blue Fancy Versus with the characters, the combat, and the character models, all that stuff. I love Grand Blue Fancy Versus. It's one of the prettiest games I play for anime fighters. This game, exact same thing. The game looks good. The game got pretty, pre like, pretty looking design sleek designs and all that stuff and then um and then sometimes the character movement can could get a little faster here and there because for us to be a footsie based game it's just it's going to be harder if we face characters that got good range so so like the dragon knight i love the dragon knight's design oh my gosh i i thought this is so cool and then the hunter, the hunter's design is awesome. It looks like Gambit mixed with Dante, all that stuff. Then the Hitman looks cool. Crusader is a big boy. It kind of reminds me of Dante's Inferno type of deal. I, like the character design is nice. The the gameplay feels feels good. It's not. It just it feels rough around the edges with the gameplay. Like, there's a few things that I would like to see, but I don't know if I'll ever see it. But the other part is, the other problem is, like, when you end the match, you don't know what to do. You don't know how to combo and all that stuff. You gotta play the game continuously to understand what you're doing. But that's the, that's the thing. Good luck getting matches with people at times. But, 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 guys, that'd be it for me. So, with DMS Duel, it's just, it needs, a, it needs another beta. Because, um, for right now, I'm, I'm probably, I hate to say this. I hate to say this. But, I'm going to skip this game. I don't like skipping, a, a, like, an anime fire like this. Like, with good netcode, cool looking design characters. But, the, uh how they did with the open bay it's just it kind of you know 
wasn't their best impression. So I just hope if they get another open beta, and please don't do the exact same beta on on the release of KOF 15. Arxis, I know I Arxis aiding. I don't care who 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 made this game. Do not do an open beta two on <laughs> on KOF release because when you got when they did that. Uh, released the exact same day as KOF. I think they were trying to steal KOF Thunder, if you ask me, but. But overall, I am going to skip this game if uh, if that's the only beta we're going to get. Because cause it definitely did not show this best uh, impression. It's fun, yes, but, but still, though, it doesn't matter if it's fun or not. It's just, why will I play something like go to a player match it's going to be hard to, for me to play player matches then how can i get the feel for the game if i don't have practice or versus mode but here's a problem oh you're under maintenance we face cpus why didn't you have versus mode that's the question that's the biggest um red flag i see why didn't they add versus mode but in the maintenance mode where they're under maintenance we get to face cpus you know what I mean? That's that's the biggest red flag I ever seen. I think the beta's just been rushed just to compete with KOA 15 open beta 2. I just feel like the game I feel like the beta should have been a little bit not not longer but they should have just waited if you ask me. So for right now, I'm probably going to just going to skip the game. I don't like skipping like 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 anime fighters like this with good net code but it's just this first impression then then wow me it's just the hype the hype for this game didn't meet my expectations and you know people were hyping this game and all that stuff it's just it didn't meet my expectations so there's that I feel like it's just hype but no substance you know what I mean it's fun to play and all that stuff but it's just the beta was just so bare bones. I just don't like that. So right now I'll give it a two and a half out of five because of the game's fun, the character design looks sleek, the background looks nice, the music is decent. The music's nice, really. Got that Grand Boot Fancy like music and all that stuff. I do like Grand Boot Fancy versus music. And I'm good. I'm just going over just uh, references as Grand Fruit Fantasy point two point oh, <laughs> if you know what I mean. But anyway, um, so so the negatives is the bear. Look, so I I think the positive, but the negatives are it's just bare bones at best. The hype didn't meet my expectations whatsoever. You can versus CPU, but you gotta be on it, it gotta be under maintenance and it's all random. We can't choose a character. And and there's no versus mode. That's 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 so backwards, man. That's weird. Four, you can't do player searches. Go play against friends to understand how to play the game and all that. And uh it's just that everyone needs like I know I might get some flack for this, but you know, if you're doing play, if we're searching players room, we should got some player searches so we can pl play against like friends, family, uh, rivals from your FGC or anybody, basically, you know, mate, you know what I mean? The and then then uh, I just don't like being playing a game that I don't know how to play, you know what I mean? Like, like I love playing games, but I want to know how this works, how this works, oh, this works like this, and all that stuff. And, and there's no tutorial mode for this. You guys look it up on YouTube. But, but thank, but thank, thank God for YouTubers that uh, made the command, like the command list for these characters. Thank you. Because I wouldn't even find that PDF. Like, I tried to find the PDF online. Couldn't find that. I had to search and search. But, oh my lord. Like, I just hope for another beta for this game. But, it's unlikely we will. 
and this game's released summer 2022 uh it's just that's okay i'll i'll just skip this one so so guys guys what do you think about my review you think i'm was too harsh about it or do you, or anything do you think do you think it's it's just a beta eraser that it'll, it'll get uh, better but but am i just being am i wrong about you know criticizing this but still guys if you guys still want to buy it and all that stuff don't let my review tell you otherwise because if you guys have fun with the df duel that's cool guys buy the game because if the game is fun for you buy it no matter if, you, if the, the game be dead probably next month the game be dead next year if the game's fun for you and you love love playing this game buy it but i'm just gonna skip the end that duel because if that if that if that's it with the beta i'm just gonna skip it guys i just i know it's fun but i just don't like getting to matches where people play it a lot and they know what they're doing then uh me just jumping into something it's like okay how you do this and this and this you know what i mean but uh, anyway this this be it in the video if you enjoy my uh a small rant but review of this game leave it a like subscribe if you don't want to miss any type of gaming Relate or KOF relate from yours truly. This is your host, ErazerMK, signing off. I'll catch you guys next time.